This is me straight out the bed. And it's crazy because straight out the bed I feel like I look the prettiest. But welcome back to my channel. It's the internet auntie, auntie of the internet, self-proclaimed, soon to be world-renowned writer, poet, and international icon. Cause you know we just getting better. We just getting better at everything we do because we putting in effort. So really, I just wanted to talk about how I've been on YouTube for a year, and um, I enjoy it. I genuinely do. And the fact that all of 2020, 2020 was a mess, but like I put in that. Well, I wrote a blog for turning 23. I do one every birthday. I put out a blog and I was just saying like, there's no correct way to do anything, but that's what it, that's like a given, and especially with like life. Like it's no correct way to do nothing. So I really don't know what I'm doing. I just, like I said, I know I'm great. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Cause I don't know how to execute it, but I'm getting there. Like usually I feel a little, like oh i don't know what i'm doing you know and then i get a little sad and i i don't know but it's like as of late it's like i don't know what i'm doing but i'm figuring it out i'm getting close that's how i feel so you know on top of the fact that technically i failed myself 2020 because i actually um i did a video i want i don't know if i'm gonna include the sound bit because i don't want to include like <laughs> the video because I was in my work clothes but um I was basically telling myself like it was March 2020 which is why I started the YouTube channel as well in March so I had told myself like yeah this is gonna happen this is gonna happen this I'm gonna do this that 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 COVID slowed me down and I'm not blaming COVID because some people still made it happen during COVID but it's like what I wanted to happen didn't happen so like I was saying progress is still progress although it might not be what you want because like I said my 2020 wasn't bad it wasn't bad to the point where i didn't notice that i didn't accomplish everything i thought i was because i was getting stopped and it was hurdles and stuff was really genuinely happening that slowed me down it wasn't just some straight and even if it would have been just some straight i still don't think i would have been receptive how i think i would have which is why i just do what i do anyways at this point but back to feeling like a failure because i said i don't ever feel like a failure <laughs> I don't feel like a failure, but technically looking like at looking at life, if you look at it through analytics, doing bad. But that's because everything else on the internet is to be compared to. And that's another thing I want to talk about. People don't understand that social media is very fast and fluent and everybody is just putting something out to put something out. And it's all like, yeah. I'm not of a standard of social media no more. You feel me? I'm not trying to be. So it's like, I'm really just chilling. Am I taking my time? Are things going to come a little longer? Yeah, but I feel like the quality of them are going to be very great. So that's that as well. Um, I was going to film this video and then I was like, I'm not going to film this video because what does it matter? And then I was like, well, it still doesn't really matter besides me just saying like, I might have failed this year. But it's a reason why. It's something that made me not do everything I needed to do or everything didn't come to me like I needed to come or wanted it. I wanted it to come to me and it just didn't happen. And I don't know why, but I'm not even tripping. Like, I'm not tripping because I always got this year. And this year seems to be going very nice. And then, like I said, I learned stuff last year. Might not have been what I wanted to do, but I learned stuff that helps me this year. So it's all working out. It's all working out. I, it's just, I know at the end of the day, let's say if something really happens and I become the internet until on a grander scale when I'm 32, I'm not going to be mad at it because I'm not going to never stop being internet auntie. You feel me? And like I said, I kind of like my, I talk to everybody. I talk to everybody to talk back to me, you know? So it's pretty cool. The day that gets overwhelmed, overwhelming, I'm going to be kind of sad, but I'm still trying to, I'm, I know. I'm going to try to talk because it's going to be so many perspectives that I'm going to want to. Anyways, um, like I said, like I was saying, I didn't really want to do this video. Then I was like, I'm going to do the video. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But then I checked my YouTube studio and seen that I was like, I've been at 87, 88 subscribers for months. 
for months, like probably seven months. And it was a 90. So thank you to those three people, two people. Because it goes up and down. It's either 87 or 88. But yeah, I'm at 90. So hell, you feel me? We finna celebrate. We got 90 subscribers. And we've been on YouTube for a year. Make sure you check out the description box. Links and things. Things and links. Wishing everybody peace, joy, and prosperity. Until we meet again. Or until I talk to y'all again. Oh, happy days when Jesus walks and Jesus walks. Oh, when he walks and he walks and wipes my tears away. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy. No, 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 no. Hey, oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Ah.